Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. I am a PGY soon to be four neurology resident. Today I wanted to make a video on must haves for intern year. Today is, I'm filming this on, today's what, Saturday? Um, and on Monday, we have all the new interns starting. So I remember this weekend, this time period in my, the start of my career as a resident and how anxious I was, how much uncertainty I had. And I just wanted to make this video. I've made kind of videos like this before about uh, resources to have as a resident, but this is a video on must haves uh, when starting residency. So we'll start with the basics. So the first thing is, um, Number one, you need some good pens. So, I don't know, my, my wife bought me these pens. Um, the most important thing I think about the pens is that they have a really uh, fine tip. So this one is like 0.5. I think that's important because when you print off your patient handoff, you don't want like a thicker pen where things start to smudge. You need to be able to write small because things are changing. You're crossing off things. Attendings are basically changing the recommendations. So having a pen with like a finer tip uh, sounds like a basic like point, and, but it is actually very important. Uh, some people like to go like the multicolored thing, write it in red if, if it's important, do this, that. I personally think carrying like a bunch of different pens or those one of those thick pens with all the colors is like too much for me. So use just one pen, preferably like black ink. So if you have to sign important documents, you have this with the pen, I can like make like exclamation points, things like that to know what's important and what's not. The next thing I would say to get is get yourself a good pair of scrubs. So I'm not actually wearing like a scrub top right now. I got these, these pants. Um, I would pick a scrub that for me, the most important thing is that it has great pockets. So as a neurology resident, I got to carry like a pen light. I got to carry sometimes a tuning fork. I got to carry a reflex hammer. So for me, having lots of pockets is like crucial because trying to like maintain all these like tools, not lose my patient list, carry my pens, carry my like hospital cafeteria card. Like I'm carrying a lot of things. So having a lot of pockets is important in scrubs and you want scrubs that are, that feel good, right? Like these are going to be basically your uniform every day. So to have a pair of scrubs that's like uncomfortable for you, not worth it. Um, a lot of good scrub companies out there. Um, I think you you pick your favorite and go from there. Other important thing is to have great jackets. So a lot of residencies in particular, they like have like jacket sales um, where they go and they put your name on it. They they have all these like long sleeve jackets, maybe like Patagonias, things like that. I would say. If that's given to you, that's great. Um, but if you're going to have to pay like crazy fees for these jackets, you could just go online. So this, I wanted a vest. I thought it would be different. Um, try something new. I have other jackets and stuff, but wanted a vest. Uh, this, I think, is an L.L. Bean vest. Been pretty nice. It has a ton of pockets. So we got a pocket here. We got a pocket below here. Uh, so that's that's been great. It's comfortable. Um, I could take it off when I want. Sometimes I even wear t-shirts under it because then just zip it right up. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's been nice. So we talked about pens. We talked about jackets. We talked about scrub scrubs. I'm sorry. Next thing is this, a water bottle. Um, biggest struggle for me as an intern, I've talked about this before is like hydration, uh, trying to stay hydrated while on service and like running around all the time is very difficult. So go on Amazon get yourself a water bottle. Um, also, if you live in a place where water's free from your sink and whatnot, then you're not having to like pay for water bottles every day because you want to use your meal money for like actual food or most importantly, coffee and energy drinks. Um, and that's the, I guess, another second essential. So if you're not a coffee person or whatnot, maybe you're a tea person. I think... Using caffeine wisely in residency is crucial and finding that balance point of how you use caffeine is uh, is a must-have for intern year. So uh, a must-have if you're a coffee lover is some type of coffee machine for the morning. Some people like something quicker like a Keurig or an espresso. I myself have like a, I just do like a pour over. I also have a one of the espresso machines that I bought on Amazon. It's like hundred bucks, like legit. 
uh, espresso machine. So that's also a crucial thing to have. The next thing would be uh, a decent car. And that sounds kind of crazy, but um, it's a must have to have a decent car, if, especially if you're not in like a city and you have to be driving around a lot. Uh, where I am, it could be, I commute a lot. I've talked to you guys about that before, that my commute is like over an hour, which is crazy. Some people think I'm insane for it, but due to family circumstances and whatnot, that can happen. Um, but having a quality car, like a decent car, and when I say like decent, I'm not talking like super expensive and whatnot, but just a car that's been reliable uh, because going from A to B is like half of the battle, right? So in order to get on work on time, your co-residents are depending on you. Having a car that's reliable um, is is key. This is some basic stuff that's pretty important. Next thing um, I want to talk about is let's talk a little bit about, about like knowledge. So one must have that I would say this video has been sponsored by TrueLearn. I've used TrueLearn uh, throughout my medical school journey for Comlex 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I've used TrueLearn now for my neuro right exam and I've used about to use true learn for the, the board exam so i can touch a little bit on that on future videos but this video in particular uh sponsored by true learn i want to thank them for for the work that they're doing and helping out residents so knowledge i would definitely a must have is a q bank um a q bank is super important because it can help you find your weaknesses uh if you're an intern you're probably preparing for complex level three or step three and finding a quality q bank is important to like I said, find your weaknesses, know where you need to grow, where you need to study. Click in the description below. I put my um, my code for some discounts on TrueLearn. The next thing I would say is uh, make sure you have access to up-to-date. Uh, most institutions will give you access uh, through your like through an institutional account. So up-to-date access is super important because that also has LexiComp, which tells you about certain drugs and their interactions, things like that. And that's something I looked at all the time when I was in starting residency as an intern, making sure that there was no drug interactions, etc. Other thing you need, quality phone. So having a quality phone is one of the most important things. That's how your seniors are gonna communicate to you, your attendings. Um, for me, it's like I'm running a stroke code. I have to make sure my phone is working because I'm calling attendings. I'm making rapid decisions. Certain pe different people in the hospital are calling on me, calling me. I have to like look. I have Epic on my phone. I'm like scrolling through. So I initially had um, a decent iPhone. It was like an older model, uh, but I started to realize how important it was to have like the best phone I could have because it allowed me to actually get my work done so much faster, communicate more effectively with other people. And that's, that's like key in a hospital setting, right? Is just communication and having a quality phone is the only way you're going to promote that. Uh, next thing I would suggest is to get some great work shoes. So I wear right now, I think I have what these like on clouds. Those are cool. They look cool. Um, they're nice. I had a pair of what I have Saucony. Uh, those are like thicker sold. They, uh, Definitely helped my legs like walking all day and made me feel um, not as like exhausted. Um, just like having that like the buoyancy. So yeah, I get some quality shoes, some stylish quality shoes uh, to match the scrubs and the jacket. I would say the next thing that's super key must have is to get uh, blackout blinds. So blackout blinds when you're on night float is is like the best because. It really helps change your your circadian rhythm and get you in the in the mode for night float. When I didn't have blackout blinds, I think my sleep quality like during the day was significantly worse. Having blackout blinds has benefited me on night float so much because my body is like conditioned now that okay, even though it's 7 a.m., it, it's nighttime. And this has allowed me to get that quality sleep because nothing is worse. I promise you, nothing is worse. Like going into night float, only having slept a few hours, having to stay up the whole night because a lot's happening, and then doing that again, doing that again. I know a lot of residents that have significant trouble with, with night float uh, and the impact on their sleep. Another, I think, must-have, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say this is a for sure must-have, but I think it's important, is get yourself an Apple Watch or a Garmin watch. I think this is key because when you're when you're in residency, you should be like doing active things. So whether that be like working out, lifting, running, 
Uh, I think this is a good reminder for you. And sometimes I would actually wear it on like night float, uh, walking throughout like walking through the hospital during the day because it would like show me my stress level, which I thought was a great way to have some like recognition of how I was doing. Uh, so I, I use that app on like the Garmin to tell me how my stress level was doing. And you best believe like when I was in ICU, there were times my Garmin was like freaking out because of my, my heart rate, just being nervous and starting as an intern. And it's kind of cool to see how much better, how much better you get on that. These are some must-haves while you're in residency. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for True One for sponsoring this video. And I wish you the best of luck in intern year.